hopefully everyone has managed to find their browser in their Active Inspire software and they will know that the second icon along at the top of the browser is a resource browser and that's basically a library full of um, different folders of goodies. If I just unroll a couple here you can see that it's very well indexed and we have a lot of resources in there that we are able to just pull out and use uh, when we're building our lessons. and. You come with a, a lot of the resource packs already loaded. Um, you'll notice that in your resource browser you also have a folder called resource packs. And that is somewhere that you can uh, download other resource packs too. So today what we're going to look at is how to do that. We're going to search for and download resource packs of extra goodies for our resource browser from the website www.prometheumplanet.com Okay, I'll just pop into my web browser and it's important to note that you need to be signed in to be able to download things. You can browse um, no problem at all without being logged in. If you are not a member, um, normally on the landing page, just where I'm circling here with my mouse, that would be where you would sign up. It's free to join and as you can see here we've got a lot of resources. Now. Uh, my fav favorite way to search is using the advanced search tool. Because we're not necessarily looking for any specific subject of resource packs today, I'm not going to put a tick in any of these boxes because I'm not looking for a specific age band and I'm not looking for a specific resource type. I'm not going to click either of these. What I am going to do is put a tick in Promethean Resource Pack because I'm not interested in any other type of resource except for the pack of resources. Furthermore, I'm after only Australian resource packs, so I'm going to tick Australia here. And I'm also going to add up in the keyword search Australia. I'll show you why in a second. Now, when I search, you'll notice I've got one of, oh, sorry, 22 resource, resource packs here. If I scroll down, I'm just going to show you them all on the page at once. Okay. And these resource packs, as I flick through scanning the heading, you'll notice that they are all actually submitted by Promethean Australia about Australian items. Okay, if I scroll down far enough I'm going to get to my favorite one which is the Australian money and I could preview it here but I know it's something I want I'm simply going to download that. Now this little symbol here is the symbol of resource packs so if you're running Windows and you have downloaded a resource pack, what you'll be looking for in your downloads folder is this little icon. Okay, so I could go into my downloads folder now and I will see Australian money with that little symbol right there. Now all I have to do is actually double click on that and it should start to import it. Now it's saying where would I like to import this to? Do I want it to my shared resources or my my resources? We were in shared resources before where I showed you that folder that said resource packs. So I'm clicking shared resources. That's where I would like it to go. As soon as you've imported um, a resource pack, what the software automatically does is it likes to index the library. Now this can take five minutes, ten minutes, it depends how long it's been since you last um, let it index and it also depends how many resource packs you've imported since then. I am always too impatient, I'm going to push stop, usually because what I'm doing is downloading several resource packs at once, once I've finished importing the last one I let the computer run through and index it. What that means is that if I am then back in my software, 
um, and I want to use my search function which is up here and I'm looking for um, a dog if I were to click this arrow here now to start the search I will be unable to do that because I haven't let the resource library index properly um, I just get this message okay so I could let it index from there I'm not going to bother now I was in my shared library which is this icon here and you'll notice that now I have a little plus symbol next to my resource packs folder and when I unroll that look at that I've got Australian money and when I unroll that I've now got Australian coins and Australian notes okay and I can simply pull these out onto my page and start using them now no matter what resource pack you um, choose if you've chosen shared library it's pretty much always going to go into its own folder within resource packs sometimes you may get a resource pack I've done this before I think I've downloaded a geography one and it made its own folder in the main stem here of my library so if you can't find it in your resource packs just be aware you may need to have a little scout around just in the main um, tree here and pretty much that's all there is to know about resource packs I was going to show you the difference if I didn't put in Australia in the key search so if I went to resource pack in my advanced search and I tick Australia here but I do not put Australia up here what happens is I now have 96 resource packs however they are not all specifically about Australia you can see some great New Zealand ones incidentally this is a fantastic resource pack um, New Zealand do a lot of really good ones but you can see here the mm, animated Christmas scenes well that's actually not really anything to do with Australia especially given that it's winter so what it's done is it's literally just searched for resource packs and because Australia has access to all of the English speaking resource packs it's picked up all of them so there must be 96 resource packs um, in English that I can download here so just be aware when you're doing your search sometimes it pays to put in a keyword there and that's it enjoy